My god, this is actually worse than Cardinal. My god. Man. Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to Raid. All right, we're in the test server. We have Kaja the Rai, and we're going to go over her, all right? Going to go over her skills, how I've built her, her synergy with Timid. Going to showcase her with Timid. Without her, without him, she's basically um, just another support. She's not worth the 20 sacreds, the 180 ancients, whatever. Even the amount of energy that you would need to spend in order to get the 40,000 points, which is the maximum amount required to get her through flipping off, uh, flipping off, flipping the cards, right? Um, I don't think she's worth it. That's that's the whole deal. So I'm, I'm trying to showcase it as much as possible to players out there who might still be on the fence before this event is over to go and, and pick her up. They might have seen maybe other videos that showed her, showcased her in a more positive way, but I'm just trying to showcase it again. Um, might be positive, might be negative. I'm not exactly sure on how uh, this will end by the end of the recording. So she, the positive about her, she's a strong reviver, right? Four turn cooldown, which can give you a Terminator boost and an HP, 50% uh, HP on, on the revive crit rate, crit damage if you are, uh, if the champion that gets revived, um, you know, will get the buff. Everybody else does not get the buff. If Timid Defoe is in the same team and is dead, every single person in the team will be revived with full Terminator, full health, something like a Cardinal, the way that Cardinal works. It's very unlikely that Timid dies, um, usually, because he will be HP based. The thing is, you most likely will need to build her with Stone Skin if you're trying to make a team where Timid is supposed to die, all right? Or you won't care if he really dies or not. Um, her Terminator boost plus cleanse plus block debuffs is all right. But if you compare it with other champions that we have currently in the game, I'll give you guys some examples. Skadix has a cleanse plus block debuffs for two turns plus a shield. Four turn cooldown, he's an epic. All right. Uh, we have Skinwalkers. We have Hakorn. This guy has a cleanse plus block debuffs for two turns plus a big heal for each debuff. That is very strong in terms of being a healer, having a healer. She's somewhere in between, right? I think Elva also has something similar. Revives the target ally with, you know, that amount of health and turn meter plus some buffs, which is okay. There's a cleanse block debuffs for two turns on a three turn cooldown. So it's kind of worse. Well, not kind of worse. It's worse than Elva's. Then we have uh, barbarians here. We have Sky Touch Shaman with, look at this, four turn cooldown. Cleanse plus block debuffs plus revive on death for two turns. So strong kid there on another epic. And of course the OG here, if we go down a bit, the Mausoleum Mage has crit rate, increased defense, block debuffs for one turn. All right. These two buffs are for two turns. So you can buff your team and then you can cleanse your team also. So if you're looking for that kind of kid, you can get it from epics. Of course, this is a legendary higher base stats. Um, it does require though legendary books her requirement of legendary books is low which is okay um i like the lower requirements overall but still it's eight legendary books you still need to spend eight legendary books if i had those and I had the choice of using them on kaja the rai it wouldn't change my account at all and not just my account like even if i was somebody who's trying to progress through it depends what, what you think of progression for my eyes, as a veteran in this game, I consider myself a veteran, I think Catch of the Rye and progression in this game is solely um, revolving around clan boss and getting the unkillable clan boss team going. If you don't have that, then you are still a beginner, I would say. The way that teams are at the moment, getting an unkillable team is what pretty much gets you into the mid game, all right? And it, when you have things such as the hard version of the Doom Tower, you have Hydras, you have uh, the, the Sand Devil Phantom Shogun, those are late game, maybe end game activities, okay? And Hydra is late game activity. Then yeah, Clown Boss would be mid game. So she can help you a little bit with Clown Boss with this skill, but everything else, she does nothing else. It's only this, a cleanse and a block debuff plus a Terminator boost, which it's very likely to mess things up in a turn meter um, in a team. It's 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 very weird. And then you have all also this turn meter reduction effects are decreased when Tim is in the same team. She'll be immune and she'll get the boost instead. 
that's okay. I mean, um, let's go into the arenas. Let's do like a refresh. I'll show you what, what I've made. Like this is one of the attempts of a team that I could showcase. The idea behind this team is to have double buff removals here so that we don't need to build any accuracy on Timid. He can boost his own accuracy if he really needs it. But honestly, we're not going to be trying to do that. Um, what we want is like try to remove as many buffs as possible so that Timid can do as much damage as possible. He's HP based. So very difficult. We, we cannot ignore defense. We don't have it in our kit with Timid. So we need to remove buffs. We need to apply defense down. Maybe here we can also apply the, the un block uniques here. Oh, we got resisted there on that Sifi. Very interesting. And then, yeah, all the buffing is going to come here. This is where, this is where Timid the Fool becomes interesting because we can actually now get that extra turn because of Kaja. All right. So we hit them already. My gear is very strong, but you see the damage because of just one champion here who um, just soaks up all the damage. Plus, plus probably Krisk in there. It just, with defense down, any other DPS would have just wrecked the whole team here. On how this team looks, the, the team would have been destroyed. And what we see here is, of course, the expected outcome um, out of a defense down on, on these enemies. But we needed to do two of our skills to do this instead of just the one. So uh, moving on, let's try different teams. Uh, this one's it's another good example of a team. We, we want to hit some heavy hitting teams, but those are also very difficult to find in defenses on the test server. So I'll do my best here, guys, and see what we can get. Can we remove that stone skin? No chance. All right. Um, Stone skin, we could remove it, honestly. We could try and remove it, but I would have preferred if if Kaja had um the way that she activates the A3 on Timid. I, I I would prefer if she activated maybe the A2 instead. Although the A3 does give increased accuracy, which is nice. It doesn't benefit Kaja at all. Alright, yeah. There we got destroyed. Um, so we just do this. It's going to be a revive here. Let's see, no, the stone skin just not getting removed, guys. And then we hit with the A1. Look at that. Look at how bad that is. My God. We're just hitting, hitting that guy all day. All right, stone skin is off. We're in a little bit of a trouble. Look at how much damage this guy is getting. Jesus. Healing, healing a little bit, though. Couldn't remove all the buffs. Jesus, man. And I can't do anything. Like, when I get block revive there, I can't do anything. Like, my A2 does nothing, so I just do A1, which is like a 10% heal. Ugh. And I, I heal timid, but whatever. So bad. All right, we're not going to hit this guy. Um, I'm not going to hit just yet. I want to try and remove some buffs. So I'm just going to use my A1 on timid. And C. But wow, look at that. 35,000. I remove the cleanse. Um, one more turn there. All right, here I can get two turns in a row. Look at that. Look at how bad that is, man. There's a true fear. Does nothing. Get some terminator there. You have the true fear on the enemy. Maybe that helps us do something. All right, provoke. I think uh, provoke is part of Timmy's kit. Yeah. All right. Come on, Timmy, do something. All right. Finally managed to kill him off. And you see there the problem with the weak kids on Duchess and Mortu because of Timmy being Force Affinity. All right, let's try and find a burst team. Um, Victor test team. That's that's not a burst team. That's just just asking. You're asking for it at that point. All right. This one. This is a, a, a burst team for sure. Let's get hit here. Get wrecked. This is, this is what you want to be using. Um, let's say you had a Cardinal. You want to be fighting these teams, all right? Because now I should revive and get my turns going before them. Doesn't look like it, though. My God, this is actually worse than Cardinal. My God. Man. <clears throat> 
Why would you? Why would you build it like this? Why would you make it worse <coughs> than Cardinal? My God. My God. Why? It makes no sense, man. Oh, this is so bad. This is so... Let's, let's try this again. It's not a matter of the enemy team being stronger. Here, the ideal setup would have been... All right, Cardinal, I think, says with full Terminator. So that's that's the distinction. I should have mentioned it. Um, wh whereas here we say... Um, still says full Terminator. Doesn't work the same way. All right, we got to check it out. We got to check it out together, guys, as I'm recording. I'm not going to edit this part because this is this is very disappointing. Like here, you would expect uh, I was just lucky there to survive. You would expect the combo to work as it's supposed to, which is not. And there's the revive there. Do the cleanse, a little bit of boost in our terimeter. And we try to take care out. Hit there. We heal a little bit. And then there's my boy Timid, barely hitting for something, and we went through. All right, so that is very disappointing. I, I, I I've been making videos on these uh, on Timid and and today with Kaja for for the past week. I mean, this is this is just pure madness, right? My stone skin is good, like eighty thousand health, three thousand defense, almost five hundred resistance. My stone skin is good; it's not the best for what I was trying to showcase, but that's that wasn't the, the showcase here. Um, also, my teammate was built very nice with the lethal set, 100% crit rate, 90,000 health, 260 crit damage, health smasher, all the good stuff. So you would expect the same kind of, um, the, for it to work the same way. Uh, Terminator to the max. Okay, yeah, full Terminator and maximum Terminator is not the same apparently. Um, when you... When you fill up your, your tank of gas on your car, you cannot fill it up more, right? When you fill it up, when you say fill, it, fill up my, my tank of gas in my car, when you max it out, isn't it the same? Come on, Jesus. It, Plyum has been doing these kind of things with wording, with different skills since forever, and they don't understand how this creates just confusion to everybody. Confusion, confusion, confusion. When will they learn? Um, anyway, guys, Casual of the Rye, I don't think it's worth the 20 sacreds. This should have been maybe a 15 sacred one. Um, 120 ancients may be valuable. It's still a legendary, you guys know. Um, definitely do not go for it. I, I would say do not go for it. Why will, am I so insistent about this? Because we have November, December still. There's going to be another two fusions before the end of the year. It's more than likely that one of them will also maybe have something um, like another event coming in, maybe another champion. So you might be able to use up your, your ancients and sacreds in there. It might be something better like a 10x plus 2x on a champion that you really need, that uh, legendary that you might really use. Of course, that's randomness and it's the gambling aspect, but that is, uh, that is raid, right? Uh, on, on my real account, okay, not on the test server account, on my real account, I only saved 13 sacreds so far which is very low um, if I compare it to the past. I don't know. The drop rates might be uh, a little bit lower this month. I don't know. <laughs> but I think just just using up everything that I have for her, although it would be nice, you get the, the initial dopamine. You feel nice from just, oh, my God, I'm pulling shards. I might get another, you know, uh, good, maybe epic, good legendary from my pulls. And, and then I'll get the added bonus of Kaja. Is that worth it? No, 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 no. And she's even worse. She's even worse without Timid. She's even worse without Timid. J just go in there. We just go in there. Um, the same kind of team. Like you're gonna build a stone skin team, right? To try and build this. Let's try and find Murdering's team again, All right? You build a stone skin team. Let's say you don't want to be use him, and you use more tanky stuff. Okay, more tanky stuff. The idea is. You just try and survive them before they kill you. So um, I would probably need something like a bolster, maybe use a UDK in there. And then I just need a damage dealer who can survive. It's very unlikely that anybody survives, but I'm going to use, I think I have the monkey, right? 
the monkey wukong doesn't really need to survive uh we got double revives here so does Kajar the Rai do something more than you know the obvious better champion would do like like a duchess no not even not even close if duchess is like a hundred percent of a good champion kaja is is like 40 percent because of that uh lower cooldown for her cleanse if if the revival is also like a low cooldown like a three turn cooldown that would have made the her unique very unique in a three turn whole team revive um we have like a two turn single champion revive but i don't think we have a complete team revive on three turn cooldown so i mean here we just survive and then we just burst them right it's just so much better when you have like a proper nuke champion and wukong is is one we get all for free um i don't need the whole oh my god i'm gonna hit once and then hit another one time so here we just tank it out there's wukong he's back and he would have hit her and basically survive like if we go to this team again the same team i fought before now I have a little bit added protection with UDK against single target hits. Won't protect me that much from Kandrophone and stuff, but as long as I don't hit any AoEs there, like, I don't even care about all these buffs. Um, I could try and remove them. Will I remove anything? I don't think so. Wow, we did. We just stole the stone skin. It's like... It's like, why, 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 why would you care so much about Timid when you have all of this in Wukong, which we all got. If you're watching this video, you got Wukong, all right? Uh, you, you haven't started playing Raid like yesterday or the, wh when was it? Like a week ago, I think the Wukong uh, thing ended. So here we hit, kill everything. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Like, uh, what are we doing? And, and Kaja is literally doing nothing here. Nothing that another support wouldn't provide. A support to Duchess. Support to Duchess provides the perfect veil, provides the reduction in AoE damage, provides a revive. Um, and you can't say, oh, but it's Duchess. Well, Duchess is a non-void. She's a non-void. Um, I think the book requirements are kind of the same. And we have a revive here. I don't even need the revive. I got all these, all these buffs ready to steal something here with uh, the Wukong. Let's see. Yeah, we steal something. We still have a killer one. We still kill the Trunda, which is magic. Um, and pretty much we have won um, <laughs> because of Wukong there. And then, doof, look at that. I mean, her revival's okay there, but if I didn't have her. Duchess would have revived. Any other reviver would have done something good. She didn't provide much there other than just being a stone skin champion. Um, out of 10, I would give her... What did I say? If Duchess is a 10, she would be like a, a, four, a 4. A 4 out of 10. Yeah, for sure. 4 out of 10. Nothing in her kit that can be used for clown balls other than maybe this, but it's, it's not an excuse. Dungeons, she doesn't give anything for any of the dungeons in terms of hard mode dungeons. Not, uh, not even the Ice Golem. I could imagine using her as something to tank the Ice Golem's hits, but she would probably die. Also, uh, the Ice Golem hits so hard when the two of its adds are alive. Hits so hard that even Kaja the Rai wouldn't survive, even if you built her as tanky as possible, heavy regen so that she constantly revives and gets a team going. Just the burst of the ignore defense skill that the boss is doing would be more than enough to kill her. So useless on Ice Golem hard mode. You always want to consider the hard mode of dungeons. Dragon, um, I can see the cleanse being good. So I wouldn't say she's useless there, but Dragon hard mode is by far the least problematic and difficult to beat. I would say you could beat Dragon Hard mode, way before you can beat Ice Golem, and of course before you can beat Fire Knight. Spider, useless. Fire Knight, useless. So, um, Sand Devil, is she useful? No. Useless again. Uh, maybe the revive can do something if you build her with, uh, with Heavy Defiant plus 
maybe something to protect her from the big hits from the AoE. But again, she's just like a support, heavy support. Her passive does nothing against Sand Devil. Nothing against Phantom Shogun. And you need Awakened Champions in there. So you won't use Kaja unless we get like an event coming soon where we get like a four star Awakening for her. But again, not worth it. And Sand Devil, for sure no. So I think a four, a four out of ten is is my rating guys this was it this was today's video on kaja what you guys think did you go for her and uh let me know down below thank you all i'll see you in the next one see ya